Yeah, this your boy Buck 50, Snakes and Gators, fucking with the boys from DME TV. Rock my boy, man. Hey, we finna take over the nation. Buck 50 was good. Man, shit, man. Trying to get to it, man. Trying to be a tycoon one day. I see it, man. You, you really grinding. You putting out some good info online. I can, I can say I, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things, you know, so we had we had good conversations. It's been a while though. Yeah, 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 definitely. Let's go ahead, man. Let's just get a run back, man. 2018, you kinda you just kinda chill, you know, you, you was laid back in the cut, you know what I'm saying? And then you had to get some things right. Right, right. But I noticed now, this year, the last couple of months, man, you really been on it. Yeah, man, just uh the moves. This uh last year, man, you know, uh just dealing with a legal situation. You feel me kinda caused a hurdle. But me, you know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, man, I'm Army Strong, man, I never quit. You feel me? And then I deal with two artists that's super dedicated. You feel me? That put a fire under me. You feel what me? two artists? Uh, Miss Tip okay. and J Marquis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? J Marquis, Black Top Productions. I'm, I'm co captain and director of operations for Black Top. And Miss Tip, Boss Bitch Music, I'm, I'm chief operations of her label. You feel me? Something like management, but we 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 got a hard to set up how we need. Okay, so Ben, I know all three. You know, I know Miss Tip, J. Markey, and Buck Fifty. Like right. how that came about, like just kind of. It just like, it just uh, it was just timing, man, and just grinding. We just we ran into each other, man, and just me being the person I am, man. You know, people we gravitated to each other, just on a, a nature good heart and the same dream, same goal. You know, trying to get out here and get it and. Just ended up gelling eventually. You feel me? We work. If people watch and back follow us on our uh, social media, if y'all really pay attention to a lot of works, like our pictures and things like that, like we created them together. Like from from Miss Tips photo shoots with the uh, with the picture with the bubbles that was here. J Marquis shot it. You feel me? Uh, J Marquis that our projects. Uh, the life of a boss bitch, Miss Tip. Uh, J Marquis bipolar mixtape, my on my fucking grind three. We all were in the studio with Diesel, the producer, at the same time. We would meet each other. We was there. We supported each other. We got features with each other. Well, I got features with both of them. So it kind of meant to happen. Yeah, it was like a meant. Yeah, it was like something that just yeah. It okay. just and we we saw it eventually. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to put it because I saw it. Right. You feel me? And I was working with both of them, and it just took time. Okay. So um, where y'all at? 2019. I know y'all been out to Florence for a networking event and uh -huh. um which I got coming up next though. What's, what's Man, next the next schedule is later? crazy right now. Like uh Miss Tip is actually <laughs> I can't keep up. You feel me, man? Like people request her like on a daily basis. Jay Marquis is doing so much behind the scenes and different things and he's in Pittsburgh. Right. And people don't even know that bro's not even in town anymore. We talk to each other about ten times a day, like he's right across town. And we get a lot of stuff done, even from interstate, from even transferring money for budget stuff. I just he just ordered some CDs in Pittsburgh to come to my house. You feel me? Right now, how on life, you know what I'm saying? Video shot by DME TV, single online everywhere. You feel me? Miss Tip, she everywhere. Both people be everywhere. We learned the business together. We taught each other and we pushing each other. You feel me? So um so we'll, let's let's talk about some goals, man, of of, of you know of, of, of your movement. Uh, what, what, what's your uh, goal? I mean, the main goal is uh, is to push everyone to success. To hopefully, that anybody uh, achieves maximum of uh, success in whatever they're pushing as far as the music or other brands. Because it's more than just music. With us. Uh, like I say, uh, Black Top is multimedia and other type of things in, in parcel services. Uh, I have a t-shirt company. Uh, Miss Tiffany's coming up with. Miss Tip, I say Miss Tip. She hate when I call her Tip. Uh, Miss Tip, uh, she has uh, some some branding and things that we're working on as well. Okay. You feel me? So it's it's more than music. It's it's all business, man. And uh, we trying to create other things along that we merging with a lot of other businesses. So it's it's more than us. You'll see it, the growth over time. It's just all time. You know, we none of us rich now. So yeah. you know, with every life happening with people, you got to get them time to catch up. Man, y'all. I mean, that's. I, that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying, the way y'all moving. Especially, you know, you you bringing people in, especially if, if they're going to be good on the, on the business end, you yeah. know what I'm saying? If you got something and I, you know, 
and you got some I need, I got some you need. Right, right. You barter system. We know that sometimes right. barter work, and, and we know that everybody understands that you have to spend money. It, nothing is for free. You feel me? Let me ask you the question. You think uh, you, you think a lot of people really sit back and really think about the business side for us, like the way you do business with contracts. You think a lot of people really think of, think uh, like that in uh, this area? Not really, because a lot of people don't have the experience. And a lot of times, you know, sad to say, in the African, African-American community, community, people hold things for themselves so they can capitalize and kind of like bird feed you and just feed you seeds. You feel me? Me, I had the advantage of just my experience from life. And it just took it took me a time to kind of figure out. I'm still learning every day. But right. I was responsible. I was a squad leader in the military. And my job when I was back in America, back stateside, I was supervising responsible for a multi-million dollar school. You feel me? Because I knew the value of the school. I, I read into blueprints, everything. I was responsible for so much. Right. You feel me? So it's you have to own where you are and understand who you are and what you've done and what your capabilities are. And that's all I did. And I'm just trying to apply what I did on somebody else's right. job. To this music. For my music game right. and for my friends and for right. my business. You feel me? Because if I can give that type of dedication to someone else, I can give it to myself. That's what's up. Yeah. So what what um what what's the singles that's out there from from uh, uh, uh right Ms. now Tip. we got we got uh Miss Tip, she got uh they said it's already everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she's trying to re record this other song. Um oh yeah, the, yeah, that's what I said right. Yeah, she's trying to re record this other song. I always slip the names, but uh it's nothing is already online. It's gonna be the summer single. But we got uh and this song, man, she's she gonna edge on that one. It's a smasher. You know what I'm saying? Her first single is like a a story of her life and situations she dealt with with friends, you know, and people that didn't believe in her. And, uh, and she still continued to push and, and she really believed it. And she's going to make it because her dedication, her strife, she do. And she sacrificed. You know what I'm saying? Her and J. Marquis. And J. Marquis singles, you ain't got to ask me, I'm going to jump it too. How on life, you feel me? My boy, man, he got different R&B style, you feel me? You know, I take advantage. I'm telling you, every track, He's ever recorded that I've ever heard. And it's not because he's my friend, because he was a friend of a friend before I became his friend and his brother. You feel me? All of his music is dope. Y'all got to check this boy out. You feel me? He's, he's, I don't know who was, had his music in their hands before I met him, but man, y'all, y'all let go. Rough diamond man that just needed a little polishing man and a little time and patience. You feel me? That's all he needed. You feel me? Yeah, I can agree with that. That's all he needed, man. And right now, he's in his bag. You know, he's still learning. And he's trying to master other arts, you feel me? He's very passionate in what he do. And he's sick with the pen, man. You feel me? And and like I say, he's a very humble young man. You feel me? He'll give his shirt off his back to anybody, man. And, and I feel that's why I go the lengths I do for him, you feel me? And Tip. You feel me? They both, we've all sacrificed for each other. Like, in my dark time, that's who kept me with the light, you feel me? And that's why I go hard for those guys, because we got to ride for each other. And it's, it's all about family and unity, man. And you don't see that in months. Like, again, our community. And it's not just, it's not about no trying to gain from nothing from nobody, man. It's about unity, man. Yeah. It's about being there for my brother, my sister. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about um, the music scene in Carolina. Um, the baby, you know what I'm saying? He. He's up there now. Yeah, what you yeah. think about the baby, man? Yeah, he put in the work for that. You feel me? Yeah. And he he did everything. He knew how to, he learned how to package himself right. over time. You feel me? He knew how to gravitate. Once he learned how to gravitate people's attention, he capitalized on that. And he moved and he, he took advantage. He invested in himself. And, and people paid attention. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure somebody was around giving them positive or negative constructive you know, criticism. And it, and it worked, you feel me? It's like Black Zack shit. Black Zack, I was, man, I was, I saw this young man go from before he was renting the clubs here. He did an interview in my father's home, South Kill TV, you feel me? With Ron Baker, you feel me? In my home, in my father's home, my little brother's room, you feel me? And I've been in videos with those guys, no, it was good. It's all about dedication. He saw that it wasn't working here. He didn't give up. That man went out of town. He started marketing himself out of town. I sat and watched. I said, this boy owns something. I wish I had at least a few friends that were as dedicated as the ones that went with him here. As long as you got a few people that believe in you. Exactly. Not trying to capitalize because they with you. 
Yeah. Cause and that's why yeah, that's, this situation, that's, support, that's right. That's you you need man. real genuine support, yeah. not somebody. Cause man, I'm just trying to get out the house. Exactly. Oh, bro, I just want to go out of town. Nah, do you believe in my dream? Are you gonna come there and sell me like it's you? You feel me? Cause that's what people believe in. Cause when people see your homeboy ain't dedicated, they don't believe in you. Cause the dude that's with you ain't don't even believe in you. You feel me? That's why the situation with me, Tip, and Jamie work. We ain't trying. We try, and that the people that I'm reaching out to and doing business with is people I believe in. And they believe in me. Right. You feel me? And that's why what we do gonna work because we gonna put more passion towards thank people that we care about. You feel me? Okay. You can't try and capitalize on body, man. Even though this business, man, yeah. you wanna do good business or oh, because bad business, hey, you as a local great, yeah. like some of these people gonna continue to be barring real entertainers. So, man. For the people that want to get in contact with you, go ahead and drop that info. All right, it's a buck fifty eight zero three at Gmail. B U C K the number five I F T Y eight zero three at Gmail. Uh, Instagram same thing. B U C K the number five I F T Y eight zero three at Instagram. I'm on Facebook every day. I got an artist page. B U C K five I F T Y. I'm I'm on all those sites every day. I'm, I do this 24-8. You buy business, you try and make a change or something different, get at me. If you're going to procrastinate, don't even call me. Trust me, even if you call me like you're serious, I don't know when you procrastinate after you call me. I've been in management every type of job I ever had. Wish your own time, not mine. I'm trying to win. Hold it down, buck. Already, Kev, you already know we family, baby. DME TV, we're going to talk together, baby.